Hi everyone, my name is Marcio Correa, and you're watching my Marcio TV. In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to sort a list alphabetically, by date, chronologically, and numerically. Let's look at the first example. Let's say you have a list of names. You can sort by last name or by first name. So let's sort the list first by first name. Simply go to the top under the Home tab and click A to Z. Now, you can leave it as paragraph and select by text, ascending, and then click OK. As you see in this example, the list is sorted by the first name. But what would you need to do if you wanted to sort it by last name, and how would it look? Well, let's quickly undo. You would use the same button under the home screen, A to Z. Then you would go to Options. Separate fields at, you want to pick Other, and then click Space. Press OK, but instead of choosing paragraph, we're going to choose Word 2. Press OK, and there you go. The list has now been sorted by last name. Appleseed, Bangladesh, Carter, Copperfield. You can arrange paragraphs alphabetically by doing the same thing. Next, let's sort a paragraph chronologically. Simply select the paragraphs. A to Z, sort by paragraphs, select date, ascending or descending, and click OK. If you notice, there's a white space here. Why is that? I've undoed and went back to show you. See how there's additional paragraphs here? There's two. When you sort the list, it automatically sends the blank paragraphs to the top. You can simply delete them. But if you notice, our paragraphs are sorted by date. Next, we're going to sort a list numerically. After compiling or opening a list, select the desired items, click A to Z, and under Type, select Number. Once again, you have the options of ascending or descending. Let's do descending this time, and press OK. There you go, 17, 16, 14, 12, blah, 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 all the way to number 1. And that's it. That's how easy it is to sort a list in Microsoft Word. If you found this tutorial helpful, click like to help others know, or leave a comment below.